Here's the deal. This is only practice, but these skaters and BMX bicycle riders do things regular Joes and Janes wouldn't even think of attempting. It's pretty amazing. Actually, I have a friend who's into BMX biking, and seeing them do the tricks that he can do, it's pretty cool. Woo! And then there are guys like Evan Strong. The 21-year-old skateboards on ramps despite losing part of a leg. Still getting used to it. It's quick. It's really quick, and it's really tight. So you got to watch the speed a lot, but I'm having a good time. Or Aaron Fotheringham, born a paraplegic who zooms down skateboard ramps and swimming pools in his wheelchair. Um, I hardcore sit, you know, I take my wheelchair in the skate park, you know, and it's funny to see people's reactions, you know, like they're, they're like, what's he doing here? Did he escape a hospital or something, you know, but then I'll just drop in and it totally shocks them. Athletes like Fotheringham want to go to the extreme like those other X Games competitors. And they're not going to let a thing like a paralyzed arm or a lost leg get in the way. There really wasn't that much resources out there for people like me who had a disability but loved kind of action extreme sports. Amy Purdy is a double amputee and found adaptive action sports. Notice the word disabled isn't part of the title. And I was a competitive snowboarder before I lost my legs at the age of 19. So after I lost my legs, all I wanted to do was get back into the sports that I love, which was snowboarding and skateboarding and wakeboarding. Athletes Purdy's group supports adapt to their physical challenge, hence the name. And today, they showcased their talents and won some new fans at the X Games. John Munn, the Associated Press, Carson, California.